Life of it. Dad's up, dad's entertainment. Yeah. I'm just saying dad's up. Check. Yeah. Well, well. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this is the life of a dad. I'm a father in the game like a dad. And I'ma show you the ropes like your dad. What, 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 what? The life of dads. <laughs> yeah, this is the life of a dad. Tell him. Tell him. Yo, what up guys? This is Lord Hyde the Dads from the Dads Life YouTube channel. And you don't know, today is the legendary fragrance slash color collection. I've been trying to get it together for you guys for a little while now. And it finally come together. So, if you're new to the channel, we do unboxings, we do lock updates, we do vlogs. And if you want to know all the cool stuff that's on the channel, you have to subscribe click the bell so yo today is the fragrance collection and let's get into it so if we're starting to talk about fragrances let's talk about my all-time favorite fragrance Versace Eros Versace Eros is for the outgoing man the life of the party this is the event this is going out with your lady friend this is going out to the club this is going out to the bar this is all of the above. This is one of the most commercial outgoing fragrances for any style of man and it can be worn by anybody. It is really a versatile fragrance. Now, if you talk about Versace Eros, you have to talk about Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue is the little brother to the big brother to me. Dylan Blue it's a little more sophisticated. It's a little more laid back. It's a little more, if Versace Eros is the nightclub, Dylan Blue is the at the bar. It's just a little more subtle than the Versace Eros. So I believe that both of them, you can't have one in the collection, you have to have both. I also, as an honorable mention, I'll soon get my hands on one of the Versace Eros flame. So that is one that's missing from the collection but to come. If you're talking about Versace, let's go back in the past, back in the day. And let's go back to Versace Blue Jeans. This is one of the original Versace fragrances that I fell in love with from high school. It's one of those that you have to put respect on it. Before there was a Versace Eros, there was the blue jeans. And it was highly respected. We wear it a lot less now, but still respect it and still had to add it to the collection. When we switch it now, now we have to go to House of Ferragam. Now, the Ferragam Man Black is maybe one of the most bang for your buck on the market it's about $30 big performer 68 hours of projection yo it's one of those that everybody everybody said it had to be added to your collection when you're just starting your collection I also want to give some honorable mentions to House of Ferragamo with Ferragamo Womo and the Aqua Essential it those two will be added to the collection real soon as well. So, when we switch it out, um, let's go to an older fragrance, a more grown man fragrance. That is like Bijan Man. This is from the House of Bijan, launched in 1981, relaunched in 1987 when I was born. This is one of the most eloquent and popular expensive houses that sell male clothes in the world this house of vision is maybe is a house that has dressed presidents celebrities all of the above they're highly respected and that is one of their first fragrances that they released it is a grown man fragrance and not for the faint of heart but i wanted to add it to our collection out of the respect for bijan 
and their store and what they stand for. Now, let's switch it out. Let's go into the Mont Blanc brand. Mont Blanc, I believe we have two of the best of Mont Blanc here now. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. As the bottle suggests, all white, really clean fragrance, really fresh scent. This is the fresh out the shower. It reminds you of the simple fragrances like cool water, but in a good way, in a luxury way, in an expensive way. The scent you can tell is great ingredients to create a scent like that. And it's one of the best on the market. Under $50 added to your collection. Now, if you talk about Mont Blanc legend, you have to talk about Mont Blanc, the individual. Because the individual is maybe one of the number one fragrances from Mont Blanc. A hell of a performer, 8 to 10 hours. A unique scent is one of those that them said couldn't, couldn't miss the collection. Especially if you're going for the bank for your buck. This is one to get. Now, let's go into the Dunhill. Dunhill Icon Elite. Worn by early Hollywood celebs. Worn by the legendary businessmen, the billionaires. This is a real CEO color. A great fragrance, a powerful fragrance, a masculine fragrance. This is another performer, 8 to 10 hours, one of the big boys, lots of respect, the Dunhill Icon Elite. Now, this YSL Lanute de Love. This is one of my wife's favorite fragrance, first bought for me on Valentine's Day. I wasn't that into it initially, but when I got to smell it and when I got to wear it, wore it on many dates with her, on many occasions with her, this is one of them that I love. I actually finished the bottle and I noticed that she has gotten me back a full bottle, so we know that it's one of her favorites as well. So, you don't know. Why I said that no, they love. No. Here we are going now, we're getting down into the collection. I personally, I, did, I curated this collection based on looking at other videos, research, websites, and just out of respect for certain brands. Now, this is Sean John Unforgivable. A unique scent. It, it shares some DNA with some of the other bigger fragrances on the market but this is a very good scent for the price unique scent great fragrance this is one of those luxury fragrances for a great price also it is subtle it is not doing too much is one of those now this is the CK1 shop. It's an oriental fragrance, but it's not a heavy oriental fragrance. If you're trying to get into oriental fragrances without going all the way, this is one to try because it is an oriental fragrance, but it doesn't go all the way and it's more commercial than most oriental fragrances because it shares the DNA with CK1. So. This is a good look, one of the newer ones from CK. I had to hold it, so I just got it. It's a unique bottle as well, the black with the shocking green running. So you don't know, it's a nice vibe, CK one shop. Yo, you know, say, in real life, how I deal with my collection is I've always dealt with it based on like hearing about things. I don't usually do blind buys, but this was one of the blind buys that I did. This is Halloween Man X. Halloween Man X, when I first heard about it, it came out in 2019 or 2020. And when I first heard about it, I said, 
that I have to get a hold of that fragrance. They said it's almost like a new spin on Versace Eros. From I heard that, I said I had to get a hold of it. It is, but it doesn't share the exact same DNA with Versace Eros. It's a fresher fragrance, a younger fragrance. I think it's marketed towards more teenagers and early 20s and it's a great performer for the price as well another under 30 dollar fragrance this is one of them that i think is a great bang for your buck especially for the early collectors so it's one is one that you need to check out halloween man x now i have a funny story about one of the next fragrances really because what it is is that I initially had this fragrance, Iceberg Infusion, in high school. Now, I started to carry it to high school, and on the third day I carried it to high school, it disappeared out of my bag, was stolen. Now, for years, I've never smelled back the fragrance, I've never got it back, I've never even seen it in stores. So when I decided to get back into fragrances, I looked it up, I found one, it was old stock, and I got it. And it's a very nostalgic feeling to have it again because to me, it's one of those early scents in my life that mom bought it for me about 13, 14 years old. I treasured it when it was stolen, I was devastated. And to get it back is a great joy. This is one of the first times I smelling it from those days getting it back so it's a great joy it's a great joy to have it back it's a great joy to smell it again it's a triumph over those who stole it from me in the initial but you don't know can't hold feelings against them some days you get got and teach you things that boy well, maybe you need to be more careful Yeah, so let's get down to the collection. This is the last of the collection. This is some of the ones that I hold very dear to me. And that would have to be the arm of Club de Nude Intense. It's a monster. It is big performer like the Dunhill. It smells like the Creed Aventus. It is a big projector. And I think it's maybe one of the most favorite scents of 2020, 2021. Everybody I know either planning to buy it, have just bought it, or thinking about buying it. Which put it into a little scenario where it might soon be oversaturated. But I think it is highly respected. It smells like Creed Aventus for maybe one fifth or one tenth the price. And at the same time, it is readily available on the market everybody said add it to your collection now we couldn't talk about it without talking about in my collection one of the most famous blue colognes in the world blue de chanel blue de chanel unique fragrance it's not for everybody it is, I wouldn't say it's a great performer, but I can tell you it's loved by all the ladies, highly respected in the fragrance world, and one of them that I didn't think I could pass. Blue de Chanel is one of the staples, I think, in everybody's collection. So we added it to it, and that is it. Now, this one is a funny one because I got this one as a sample and I just thought the first time I smelled it I said I need this fragrance for the summer because it's Tommy Bahama Island Life now if you know Tommy Bahama half of their fragrance is very tropical very aquatic it's great for especially someone like me living in Jamaica um, the next time me and my wife go on vacation we definitely will be um, spraying the Island Life it's one of those things that transports you literally to the beach. It's that kind of fragrance. It's a great fragrance. I had to add it to the collection. One for the books. Now, last but not least, I 
I just just got this fragrance maybe days ago. It's been the only thing I've been wearing since I got it. It's the Creed Aventus. Now, when you talk about the Club de Newt Intense, smelling like the Creed Aventus, mm, it's the same DNA, same vibes, but it cannot be duplicated. It is worn by the greats like George Clooney, Richard Gere. It's a gentleman's cologne. It is suave, luxury, a performer, all of the above. This is one for the collection. It's a little more luxury. It's a little more pricey. My wife got it for me for Valentine's. But it is one that I don't think you could miss it. It is the entry to luxury in colognes. Everybody always said this is maybe one of their first luxury colognes. And that's why I added it to the collection. It's a great addition to the collection. And that's it. That's, that's the list so far. Creed Aventus ends off the list. You don't know you have to end it with a bang. One of the greats, the legend. You don't know Creed Aventus. And now it's time for our honorable mentions. So the honorable mentions is the colors that we're going to add to the collection maybe by summer or end of summer. So we're looking into PNG, light blue, Intense EDB already been bought, just hasn't reached the collection. We're also looking into DNG, the one intense EDB. Those two from DNG, big. All right, Ferragam Warm from House of Ferragam, as well as Aqua Essential from House of Ferragam. We're also looking into Tommy Bahama fragrances. Is especially St. Barts. St. Barts is a moment. I think it's a summer fragrance. I think that's going to be one of my summer fragrances. Also, I tried to get my hands on the Versace Eros Flame, even though I have it in the travel size. So, we do have it in the travel size, but we have to get one of the 100 ml bottles for the collection. Yo! You don't know enough. If you want to create and curate a great collection, you have to be watching these people on YouTube. You don't know, you have to be watching the great YouTubers, the one that give me all the knowledge about my fragrances, people like Demi Rollin, people like TLTG Reviews, people like Chaos Fragrances, you don't know the Bowtie Fragrance guy, and Jeremy Fragrance. Those are the people that I've been watching, they are great, so you have to check them out. Also, for my viewers and all of my subscribers in Jamaica, and you want to buy perfumes or colognes, you don't know, you have to link La Roma. They have the authentic stuff, and they also have great service. You don't know, you know, bless up on yourself, you know, guys, for all the respect and all the love, all the shout outs. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been Lord Heidi, that's from Boom, 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 boom.